Okay, welcome guys. For today's demo, I shall present to you a software that is used for a pharmacy information system. That's the name of the software. It's for a pharmacy information system, and this software I shall go ahead and show you the credentials required for you to log into the system. So, by the way, just go ahead and click on this software. Click on it. So you can see we have our doctor's login, the pharmacist login, ability to also go to the website, and our exit option. So click on doctor's login, then click on this notepad here, and I shall show you the credentials. For this head is doctor bed. I shall equally put these credentials in the description box for you to easily insert it when done to the system. So I just go ahead and copy that and paste it here. Likewise, I call paste under the password and login. So here is our doctor's dashboard. You can see this is home menu when you see when you log in everything through the system. And you can see this our welcome to the Blast Pharmacian store. That's the name given for the software. And you can see these are the various fields in which you can go ahead and use. First field is the pharmacy registration. On this option here, he will have the right to employ the pharmacy to send medicines in that pharmacy for him. So for example, I maybe employ a new pharmacy, I have to put his full name, the gender, email address, the phone number, resident, his country, city, and user security. So I just click on user security pharmacies. I want the user login, I have to insert his name and his password. You shall use this tool information here to log in every time into his own panel. So there you just click on this icon here and embed this picture. Let's say I want to add a new picture here instead. I click on add. Desktop, I look for the required picture I want to put for this pharmacies, and this is it here. Click on open and I just click yes. Okay, and that's all. And after doing that, I have to register this pharmacies into the system. So click on register. Likewise, you can equally delete whatever pharmacy have included into the system. Let's say I just scroll back and I can have the various pharmacies and can delete it from here. So let's go ahead to the next field. We have our supply registration. This here who who is the person who is going to supply medicines to the pharmacy and he has to do the same task by employing his full name, his phone number, the address, the city and the country leveled as his profile picture and click on add. Just select the supplier or you can preview the report to have the, the report of all the suppliers included into the pharmacy or employed and you can see this is the supplier we have for now in our pharmacies. We close it. Our next is the inventory. That is, this inventory holds all the stockage. It means whatever supplier brings to pharmacy, let's say I put like a fragrance, I have the quantity, the unit, the cost price, the production date, the expiry date, and the purchase date. And equally, the person that supplied this person to me, and we equally import the picture like I showed you before. So click on preview, and you can see this are just a few messages we have in our pharmacy for now. Click on close. And this is a transaction field. On the transaction fee, this fee shall be controlled by this pharmacist. The person will employ means that is whatever things it does. Let's say a new patient come and input the patients. I put his name, everything, the supplier equal the inventory and so on. Under this fee, here, it means I shall receive all the credentials. And in this case, it shall be more secure since the pharmacist can equally use access panel without the authorization of the doctor. The doctor is the one in charge of this section here, yeah? as whatever thing the pharmacist sells shall come into this section here. Yeah? Our next is the video panel. On our video panel, you can see this another music just playing, but I show to you how I made to make this video to play. Yeah? So go ahead and click on this address bar. You can see this are some of the embedded music, but let me show you how you can embed yours. Minimize this bar, and let's say this is an OJ file. For example, I just right click on it and click on properties. Then come on this location. I copy this location address. Copy C and control C. Then under this option here, I click on this short code. Paste it here. Then after doing that, I equally come back here under this short code here. I make sure I copy the name of the music. I copy it. Then I come and paste it here. I then scroll here. I have to specify the format. And since an MP3 format, I have to put dot MP3. And click on OK. So after doing that, I just come and click on the music embedded. For example, this video, the volume parameter, let's say, put at 50, or I can increase it or decrease it. And the number of times I want to play, let's say one time or five times, it depends on you. I click on one, for example, and I click on play. You see, our music plays for us. 
and you can like just pause it or if you resume it or you stop it so let's go ahead and embed a visual format like i show you how to embed an mp3 format so minimize this bar let's say it's under this folder for me i click on other french music for example let's say i want to use where this one as a, as a case story for me i just right click on it take the properties on that location copy it come back to our software right click and click on this short code and paste it here then after doing that i need to just put a bubble slash and equal open back the same folder that i just showed to you just copy name of the music come back to this edit items i paste it here and how to specify since a video format but an mp4 it means that for an mp3 and mp4 it plays for you and i click ok so just come and click on play and here is our video playing for us so you can like what's put in full screen or i click and click on zoom put on the full screen or you can just go ahead and forward your music to play let's exit our full screen and let's stop the music for now so we shall then go back to our login panel click on it yes click on save these credentials okay now what for our pharmacist login under this option here we have to now put the pharmacy the means under the doctor login since we created the pharmacies we have to put in the pharmacies we created into the system so i'm going to use the default one i gave to you and which is pharmacy just copy this copy that and just paste it here paste it here call it, and click on login so once you're here this is our pharmacist dashboard you can see this is home panel and you can see what you can do type of access you have right to so you can see he is the one in charge of the patient's panel that is when a sick person comes to the hospital we shall not take his phone name his phone number his phone name the date of birth the age the gender the address and after doing all these credentials you can maybe select his country where he's from you right click and maybe look for his country and you register then click on add patient or you can build a patient you just add it into the system or you preview the report next option we have our medicine panel so which our medicine we are prescribing to this patient let's say we are prescribing paracetamol for him the number of tablets inside is 32 the dosage is maybe 200 and the daily dose is 4 here you can see the side effect the driving on use machines the storage advice and instruction on how you can use medication then the patient's name after doing that you add indication and you can equally delete it or preview the report let's so just print on it and you're going to see a preview report of it then under the payment option you carry the patient's name, the phone number, the amount paid, the date of payment, and the method of payment. Was it more money or through cash in the view or payment on credit? Then you can now view the inventory to know which medicine is left in stock, the quantity left, the one which is sold, and in this case, if it's deficit, you can easily know and send it back, back to the doctor. So, whatever transaction is going on here goes back into the doctor's panel. So, in this case, the pharmacist can't change anything here without the right of the doctor. Then let's go ahead and click back on login panel to go back onto our home page so it's our home panel now we shall then go ahead and visit our website so click on this button so this is the brand pharmacy website you can see that just blurred for us so you can see for now it's our various page you have the home page the about us and we have the contact us page so you can scroll now this is the home page you are seeing the main page for example look out for services who we are and click here to find out more about us then our patients review like words or any queries for us to contact us and the frequently asked question or you can equally join us on our social media or channel let's go to the about us section so this detail or this section enlightens you more about us in case you want to know more about us, what we do, who we are, our services and so on about us. You can just click here and you're going to know more about us, our team member, our vision and our strategic planning. You can see it here. Then our last section we have is our contact us page. So it's yes, so our contact us section. You can scroll down to know more about us by how you can visit us, how you can call us and how you can call us through our email address. So here is our, our map location where we are actually you can just see 
or you can use a satellite view then you cannot fill this form below for you to write over for your message to us and we're going to get back to you you can see i have to use there for you till then we get back to you so guys i should then go ahead and log out from this web page just click on exit and this is our home panel here for our system so click on, on exit so i want to thank you for following this demo with us from beginning to end and i shall then go ahead and put everything necessary for you in the description box i shall put in my facebook account link then i shall equally put in the link to my youtube page and my email address so if you need this application you can then go ahead and contact me and i shall provide it for you see you later have a nice day